Welcome to the Omnia Soul Art Show, the Glitch Art Video Podcast, hosted by Omnia Soul. Episode Hello and welcome back to the Omnia Soul Art Show, also known. As Tosis, I am your host, Omnia Soul, and today we have an episode for you that I was not sure on what to do for the theme. I am still testing out the wave pool and decided to go with uh, my circuit bender, um, uh, Sophie, the the first circuit bender I ever owned the one or the first circuit bender that I ever used I should say that was gifted to me uh, along with the wave pool and I glitched the DVDs of Dragon Ball GT as well as the VHS of Mortal Kombat and I wasn't sure what to do what the theme of the episode would be but I decided uh, to just keep it open. Maybe I will come up with the theme as the show progresses. Some thoughts that I had on a theme were, what if uh, the GT stands for Grand Tour? So what if it was Mortal Kombat uh, GT or just uh, Combat Grand Tour or Mortal Ball GT? Or I also thought, uh, what if, since both Mortal Kombat and the Dragon Ball series, the different iterations of Dragon Ball, whether that be Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball GT, etc., all have to do with kind of kung fu, uh, violence, martial arts, that sort of thing. Same thing with Mortal Kombat is very much, I mean, it's Mortal Kombat. They're fighting to the death has a lot to do with uh, martial arts and violence. And I do want to do an episode eventually where the theme is Mars. The theme is the god of war, the planet of war, uh, where where the term martial arts comes from. I would like to do that eventually. Uh, in the time being... I kind of have some ideas for other VHS that I want to glitch for that theme. Like, I think it'd be very cool to do... I've got a bunch of Kung Fu tapes, a bunch of Bruce Lee tapes. I've got uh, some uh, the some of the Street Fighter series, as well as the uh, Street Fighter... Uh, uh, Sister Street Fighter that I think would be fun to glitch for that theme, that martial theme where martial arts comes from, Mars, the planet of war. And yeah, so I wasn't sure what to do for a theme, and I actually pulled a tarot card asking what I should do for the theme, and tarot told me death. I got the death card, and death is kind of, um, it's not something I want to name an episode after. I mean, it's something that comes for us all. We will all eventually die, but especially with, uh, with the pandemic, the amount of grief we are collectively living through, it's not something I really wanted. It's a, it's a serious topic that I don't want to take lightly. But I will say the, the definition of the death card in tarot is a lot more positive. We've got the end, positive change, transformation, renewal, rebirth, new ideas, New opportunities. Inevitable change is occurring in your life. A rebirth in thought and deed. With this comes a change in lifestyle and a renewal, renewed strength of spirit. Wonderful new ideas and opportunities are at your fingertips. But for this change to occur, you must go through a period of destruction and transformation of the old. A new life awaits you and is full of promise. 
As you move forward, you will feel liberated. This will affect you physically. The change in lifestyle will improve your physical well-being and help you avoid illness and disease. You may also experience reincarnation memories as you break free from the destiny of past lives which held you back. So the actual definition of the card of death is way more positive than the face value. So maybe if we can somehow work in the theme of the definition of the card of death into the show, maybe that's the way to go here on the Omnia Soul Art Show. But yeah, didn't really didn't really have a theme, but I was very uh very excited for how the video of this episode turned out. I think it looks really cool. Uh I I hope you enjoy it as well. Watching at home, whenever you are watching, whether that be morning, day or night, uh doesn't matter. It's on YouTube. Uh so or on Side Street TV. But thank you so much for tuning in to the show. We are going to go ahead and move on to our first segment of the show. It is time for what am I, what am I, what am I, what am I drinking tonight? On today's episode, I am drinking something that I don't drink. I wouldn't say I don't drink it often enough. Uh, I don't drink it often. I am drinking a coffee. No, but it, it was uh, not a very not very good coffee. Uh, usually I drink coffee black, but this was not very good coffee. So I ended up doctoring it up just a little bit, just a little bit with a, two creams and two sugars. And now I think it's just right. I think it's the just <sighs> nothing like a cup of joe on a on a Sunday morning. Here on the Omnia Soul Art Show. I gotta say, nothing like nothing quite like a cup of joe here on the Omnia Soul Art Show. And that has been the segment of What am I, what am I, what am I, what am I drinking tonight? It's amazing to me that we have made it uh, all the way to 33 episodes and despite the month that I took off the the few weeks here and there that I took off last week for instance we have had an episode almost uh every week almost every week and we are so the first episode of the show came out November 23rd which means that it is now September 19th so in 2 months this show has been going on for a year in its current format as a YouTube glitch art talk show. That's pretty cool. That's such an accomplishment. And one thing that I think is very cool is the relationship that I have made with certain musicians by using their work on the show uh, all the way back in, I believe it was episode three, the nostalgia episode. I used some music from... Swan Sound. And Swan Sound happens to have a new uh, EP, Ultra Graphics EP, uh, which is on um, Bandcamp, Swan Sound, spelled with a Z, not an S at the beginning, dot bandcamp.com. And uh, Swan Sound reached out to me on Twitter and was like, hey, I have this new EP. And I started listening to it and I was like, this is awesome. This is great work. Once again, from Swan Sound, and I was like, hey, can I put it on the show? I love it. And Swan Sound said yes. So here is some music, some brand new music from Swan Sound off of the new EP, Ultra Graphics EP. And this song is called Ambidextrous. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, We will be back with you after the song.
right, we are back. That was Ambidextrous by Swan Sound off of the EP Ultra Graphics EP from swansound.bandcamp.com spelled with a Z. Uh, I gotta say, I really am so thankful for this wave pool. I love this wave pool uh, so much. I love all my circuit benders, but this wave pool really adds something very special, especially with the uh, the music aspects of the show, creating visuals that uh, that sync up better to the music. Not not actually syncing up. Like it's not the audio is interfacing with the visual at all. It's just that. I don't know. They just it, it it's amazing what it can do. It's so interesting. I love it so much. The the file sizes. Let me just tell you, the file size for the video you're watching right now was uh 36.41 gigabytes, which when the when the episode actually exports, it will be a lot a lot smaller, a lot more manageable um but yeah i did this i didn't in the, in the future i'm going to combine filming off of the crt because i do enjoy that how that aesthetic looks but holy crap setting records for how big file sizes can be here on the omnia soul art show uh but anyways we are going to go ahead and move on to our next segment of the show this is uh, it is time for Card of the Show. All right, so normally for Card of the Show, I will shuffle the deck three times while you think about a question that you want answered by the tarot deck. This time, since we don't, since this is the mystery flavor episode, we don't have a theme. For the episode picked out, we are going to just ask the tarot deck for general guidance. What do we need to know in our lives? What is the, what message is the tarot trying to get through to us today? Not only in this episode and trying to find meaning in this episode, but also in life. What is what message is the tarot trying to get through? to us today that we not may not be seeing that we may not be listening to let's see what the tarot has to say gonna shuffle number one shuffle number two all right let's see what the tarot has to say for us what what message the tarot wants to get through to us here on the Amiasol Art Show, here on Card of the Show. After shuffle number three. All right, tarot, what do you got for us? What is what is the message of the day? What is the card of the day? It is, I believe, the same card we got last week. That we got last week. Let me double check if it is. In which case, uh, I will probably shuffle again, to be completely honest. Yes, so we got the Nine of Wands again. Uh, So probably I didn't shuffle enough. Or the Tarot really wants us to pay attention to that card. So I would say... For general guidance, uh, go back and listen to the definition on the last episode of the Knight of Wands because it does seem important uh, as a little overview. We'll just see what the general themes of that card are, but I don't want to like rip you rip you all off by not having a full on card of the show segment. So basic determination, courage, strength or adversity, good health. Pause in conflict, time to rest, collect your thoughts, defending something of great importance to you, motivation gives you motivation to succeed, 
uh, success is your only possible outcome. So um, keep that in mind. But I I do think that I should shuffle again just because we did just get that card. I don't want to give you the same card again. So let's go ahead and do the shuffle three more times. See what we get. If we get the nine of wands again, then I will read the full definition and we'll we will apply it to the meaning. But I'm asking the tarot once again, please give us some guidance. Show us what we need to see that we're not seeing uh, both in our lives in this week and in the general theme of the episode. What are we not seeing that we need to see? I guess defense might be it if it was the nine of wands. Uh, because, you know, Mortal Kombat, defending yourself. Also the death card earlier. Uh, you know. All right, we got the the Hanged Man is the card. Let me check if we have gotten that before. Um, card of the show. No, it doesn't look like we've got the Hanged Man before. So the Hanged Man is a card that reminds me a lot of uh, Odin from Norse mythology because it says that Odin hung upside down from a tree until he reached enlightenment, similar to how the Buddha sat under a lotus tree and wasn't going to move, just going to sit there and fast until he received enlightenment when Odin did it. Uh, Odin did it and then received the runes, which then became very important in Norse mythology. Um, So in this card, we have a man who is hanging upside down. He is tied up by his foot. He has one leg uh, knee bent sticking behind his other leg. He's got his arms behind his back. And he's got a halo around his head, kind of going along with the general receiving enlightenment theme of the card. And I think it's very interesting to get this card when asking kind of for general guidance, but also about the theme of the episode, specifically because this is a theme of someone asking the question of what what is the meaning of all this? Give me, you know, putting to the test and trying to figure out what the what the whole purpose of of everything is and here we are asking the tarot that question and we get the the hanged man very interesting let's go ahead and see what the book has to say about this card also it is the 12th card of the major arcana also known as the trump so you have the minor arcana which is your normal playing cards with the four suits. And then you have the major arcana, which are all these uh, usually people, but these very symbolic archetypical archetypal cards. Um, So let's see a little bit description of the hanged man. A man hangs by one foot from a tree as a Tau cross Foliage upon its branches indicate that the tree is a living being. His legs form the shape of a cross, and a golden nimbus of light surrounds his head. He is the fool, matured. The hanged man reminds us of the sacrificed gods, Christ who sacrificed himself to redeem the sins of the world, Odin who suspended himself from the world tree, sacrificing himself to himself. To gain the wisdom of the runes. The tree is the eternal cosmic tree of life, the world tree, both God and hero. The hanged man is a divine sacrifice performing an act of regenerating himself so that he may emerge from his ordeal a better being, more enlightened and inspired. Divinatory meaning, wisdom, spirituality, prophetic powers, hiatus, life suspended, transformation, personality. 
This card heralds a turning point in your life on either a physical or psychic level. You are willing to adapt to the changing conditions around you. Any personal sacrifices you decide to make will bring future rewards. Giving up unneeded things will bring better gifts into your life. At this time, you may need to surrender yourself to positive transformation so that you can conquer the temptations of the physical world. Much wisdom will be gained by this initiation. Mental flexibility, listening to one's inner voice as guidance emerges from unconscious to conscious mind. Access to hidden knowledge. So there you go. Uh, you do have this general theme of enlightenment. Uh, and I think it's really interesting. I think it's really interesting both in our lives. Uh, and I also think it's interesting in the theme of the card of the show where I asked my tarot app, what should the card be? And I got the death card. And now I ask again on my regular tarot and I get the hanged man. And I see these cards as being related in the sense of that the death card is all is not about necessarily physical death, but is about like rebirth, renewal, change, uh, giving like sacrificial death, giving things up so that you can live more fully and freely. And here again, we have a card of sacrifice. So what is it in your life that you are holding on to that you need to give up so that you can better embrace your full potential. I think that is the uh, the main the main kind of reading I'm taking away from this card of the show is that general theme of sacrifice in order for rebirth. And potentially that's the theme of the show. I don't know how you uh, congeal that into a single word or phrase. So for, I think we're just going to keep the six question marks as the title of the episode, but those six question marks, we are going to take symbolically to mean the, the great mystery of being alive. The question in my life, the question in your life of what do you need to sacrifice to live to your full potential? And that has been your card of the show. All right, we are going to go ahead and play our next song by Swan Sound off of the Ultra Graphics EP, which you can find on swansound.bandcamp.com, spelled with a Z, not an S. Uh, and the song is called Skylines. I really like it. I think you'll really like it. And we'll be back with you after the song. It's not going to hurt me. If anything, I'm the one that's going to hurt him. Oh, 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 
are back thank you again to swan sound for providing the music for this episode uh the song was skylines uh and you can find it on the ultra graphics ep which is on swansound.bandcamp.com spelled with a z and we're going to go ahead and move to our next segment of the show which is the section where i read from a book it is time for it's time for words words word it's time for words 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 it's time for words 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 so today we are reading again from young and tarot an archetypal archetyp archetypal i don't know if it's archetypal or archetypal i think it's archetypal archetypal journey by Sally Nichols, which I think we've read from on the show before, if I'm not mistaken. We're going to go ahead and read from the chapter on The Hanged Man. And I also think it's interesting, 
ask the tarot app what the theme of the episode should be got the death card which was number 13 uh then asked again on card of the show and got the hanged man which is number 12 just interesting uh number stuff going on there the two cards next to each other but anyways uh let's go ahead and read from the book western man finds it difficult to tolerate enforced inactivity we tend to think of meaningful action as taking place on a horizontal extroverted plane of behavior to picture spiritual yearning as directed upward toward heaven and to ignore entirely the growth that may be taking place below our conscious awareness we have to quote paul Tillich, lost the dimension of depth. Almost instinctively, it seems, we itch to turn. The hanged man right side up. If you hand this card to someone who is unfamiliar with the tarot, he will almost invariably turn it around so that the figure's head is up where it belongs. After this, he will admit a relieved sigh. And then he will smile. If you don't know why he would smile, you can turn this book upside down so that the hanged man appears to be standing upright, now delicately posed on one foot with arms akimbo. He is really dancing a jig. Viewed from the perspective of the unconscious, he who appeared to be immobilized and stagnant held captive, is now freed. He who seemingly had lost his balance has now achieved a splendid new equilibrium. What our upright consciousness experienced at first as a time of stagnation and frustration is newly revealed as a moment of liberating action. Even the hanged man's facial expression seems to have changed. He now meets our gaze calmly and confidently with a new look of authority. He appears to smile as if he knew a secret. So there you go. Hopefully that reading can apply to your life. And uh, yeah. Yeah. That has been the the section of It's time for words, words, words. It's time for words, words, words. It's time for words, words, words. Words, words, words. All right. We are going to go ahead and close out the show. I want to give a very special thank you to Swan Sound for providing music for the show. I want to give a very special thank you to you, the viewer, for making this show possible Uh, If you could do me a giant favor on YouTube, please like and subscribe. I'm up to 35 subscribers, and I'd love to get to 100 so I can have a custom URL. Uh, If you want to support the show financially, patreon.com slash omniasoulart is where you can do that. Thank you to all the Patreon patrons for supporting the show, uh, for making this show at possible for keeping me going honestly that that money uh helps not only to um help pay for adobe creative cloud because this shit is fucking expensive pardon pardon the cussing um but you know it, it keeps me motivated money is such a big motivation uh for everything in this world if we're going to be completely honest uh you know people who are just like oh you, you shouldn't do art for the art and money should be completely separate. Well, it sounds like you've never had to work for a living, honestly. But anyways, thank you so much uh, for supporting the show. Thank you for watching. If you like the show, like, and subscribe, share, tell your friends, and we will be back with you next week. I got a very exciting episode lined up for next week that I think you will all enjoy. Uh, So, so stay tuned. And we'll be back with you next week. Take care.